I was digging in the garden when I heard it, a strange, wild singing on the wind. I sat back on my heels, a carrot dropping from my mud-splattered hands. No one sang here, not on this island. Perhaps I misheard. No, there it was again, a lilting line, distant but clear. It lasted hardly longer than a heartbeat, but it left me certain of one thing. It was more than a gull's cry I heard. It was a song. But who was singing it? I glanced over my shoulder at Norrie, hunched over the cabbage bed, a grey frizzle poking out from underneath her linen cap. As far as I knew, she was the only other inhabitant of this lonely Atlantic island. But it couldn't have been Norrie I heard, for if there was one rule that my guardian set above all others, it was this one. There must be no singing. Ever. Sing and the darkness will fill you. We were still dripping from the shipwreck when Norrie first told me this. She had repeated it often since then, but there was no need. The terror in her eyes the first time had silenced me immediately. That and my own grief. So deep, I was drowning in it. The sea had taken my mother and almost taken me. That was enough darkness to last me a lifetime. I had no desire to court more. Not that I could recall very much about the shipwreck itself. Even the ship that carried us off from England seven years ago had left no impression on me. Was it stout or shaky, that vessel? Had it foundered on rocks? Had storms broken its masts? I didn't know. We had boarded that ship in 1660 when I had been eight years of age. Surely eight was old enough to remember. But my only recollections of that night came in broken fragments, slivers that were more sensations than sense. The sopping scratchiness of wet wool against my cheeks. The bitter sea wind snarling my hair into salty whips. The chill of the dark water as I slipped through it. Hush, child, Norrie would say whenever I dare mention any of this. It was a long time ago and a terrible night and you were very young. The least said about it, the better. But my mother, she's lost to us, Lamb. Lost to the wind and the waves. Norrie's face would always pucker in sadness as she said this, before her voice grew brisk. It's just the two of us now and we must make the best of it.